Brain Boot Camp. Today I'm going to be showing you a Snacks with Mac meatless edition. Um, that means that there's going to be no meat in this whole meal, um, but there is going to be a lot of protein in it. And I've gotten a lot of questions of how do I get my protein um, if I don't eat a lot of meat. And so we're going to be diving into that today. Um, as you can tell, I finally took a shower and did my hair. So this is a big deal, y'all. Okay, so first things first, I am sauteing some vegetables. I have broccoli and cauliflower. I'm also gonna be doing Brussels sprouts. Um, the way that I cook my vegetables is literally just olive oil, salt, and pepper. So this is the olive oil that I use from Trader Joe's. You guys can see that. Um, and then just a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt and pepper. Um, I don't think that you need to season your vegetables that much because they already have flavor if you just cook them the right way. So that's how I am making those vegetables. Okay, so we got some tofu cooking here. Um, I can make another video explaining how I cook my tofu. Um, again, this is just olive oil and I'll show you the seasoning that I use. This is the seasoning that I use. It's from Trader Joe's. Obviously, everything I buy is from Trader Joe's. Um, but it's 21 Seasoning Salute. Um, let's see what's in here. Just a whole bunch of different seasonings. Um, and then I will add some salt and pepper to that. So I have that cooking in some olive oil right now, along with my veggies. Okay, so I am going to be using lentils as the base for... Um, this bowl that I'm making. So I get them from Trader Joe's. Um, they're already cooked. You can see, you can have them cold, you can have them hot. Um, this is the great thing about lentils. If you guys can see, there is 10 grams of protein per serving. So that's quite a bit of protein, especially plant-based. And it comes just like this. Looks kind of gross, but tastes good. Okay, so I'm gonna be using 1 fourth cup of lentils. Next, I am going to be using garbanzo beans. I'm going to be mixing the lentils with the garbanzo beans. Um, garbanzo beans are also a great form of protein. There's seven grams of protein per serving in garbanzo beans. All right, we got one fourth cup of garbanzo beans. There we go. All right, so now we got the garbanzo beans and the lentils. I'm going to just drizzle some olive oil. So take some olive oil. I just use the cap for measurement, less than a tablespoon. There we go, that's all you need. All right, time to mix that up. Add a little bit of pepper. I could just eat this by itself. Like I think lentils and garbanzo beans taste so good. Okay, so now that we have the base, we have lentils and some garbanzo beans with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, we can throw in the veggies. So I have sauteed Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and broccoli. I'm gonna throw just a little bit in here. There we go. Gonna add my tofu that is now cooked and seasoned. Nice. All right. And then I'm gonna just top it with some tomato and red onion. All right, tomatoes, red onions, throw it in. Now for the best part. All right, so um, we have to add sauce. There's always gotta be sauce, right? Um, so I found this amazingly delicious looking tzatziki sauce from Trader Joe's. Tzatziki sauce is basically just um, Greek yogurt, um, like dill, lemon juice, cu cucumber. Um, what else is in here? Yeah. Salt, pep, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to drizzle some of that on top. Tzatziki sauce. I could put it on everything. All right, take a little bit here. You just want to drizzle it on top. All 
There we go. And your meal, you can see this, is complete. It looks delicious. Little Mediterranean tofu bowl. Um, so yeah, that, there's a lot of protein in that. And I did the math and it basically totals up to about 20 grams of protein for that whole bowl. Um, and it's a lot of food as you guys can see. And that's what um, we were talking about last week is the uh, caloric density is that stuff like that, like the veggies and the lentils and the beans and stuff. Um, it's going to fill you up more without giving you tons and tons of calories that you're consuming. So um, I know some of you guys are wondering right now, soy, like tofu is made out of soy, right? So um, there has been rumors that soy causes breast cancer. And from my research, that's impossible. It's impossible to have a f certain food cause um, breast cancer. Um, what it does though, um, there is a, there can be traces of estrogen in soy, which isn't bad for you if you have it minimally. So if you're having tofu every single day, I wouldn't highly recommend that because there is soy in it. Um, but uh, this meal, it's not going to even dent the estrogen levels. It's not going to make men grow boobs like <laughs> i've heard some crazy things out there um but soy is really good for you and it's got a lot of protein in it the soy that the tofu that i am going to be eating um there's 10 grams of protein in that so heck yeah and it tastes amazing and i should show you guys a video of how to cook tofu um but that's a whole nother process so i hope that was educational and that you guys enjoy your meatless meals have a good one this is so good oh my gosh Wow. Dang.